still looks a little shiny. It's just the, the washes have that finish when they dry, but it's, it's dry and ready. Um, actually, you know what, let's do. Let's put a base of black on the metal pieces first, actually. So these paints come in these little squeeze bottles. here. There we go. I can see that paint's very, very thick. I don't want it that thick. I don't really paint with this, so let's put this back over here. I'm just going to take a little bit of water and to it. surfaces that are going to be metal, like the pommel here, handle the pommel, maybe gold or something. I don't know, I'll need some different paints for that, but it's alright, we'll do that in another video. This is going to be uh, kind of a multi-part series. minutes long, uh, just kind of getting started, so, um, like I said, my only concern is boring people, because, this, uh, I said, this ASMR video is, it's, it's new to me, um, balancing painting process with talking and also paying attention to triggers is going to take some getting used to. Like I said, I'm new to this, so bear with me, guys. Of course, always. I welcome all constructive criticisms. So any suggestions, critique, I am more than willing and happy to listen to. He's got a little chain here. Guys, for a small little figure like this, sorry, I just realized I'm pointing towards me so I can see better, but really it's not going to be in camera. He has a lot of little details for a small little figure like this. chain right here, and it kind of looks like maybe the edges of his belt are going to need to be metal. Let's have a look. I'm 
and switch out. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me do a little bands on his front of his shield and then I'll switch out to a different brush to get the smaller little details over there. Now as far as triggers here, um, I know that lots of people have different triggers. Um, sounds. I was saying and paint, not painting videos like this, but videos where people are painting uh, small little details like this. So hopefully uh, you're finding something here that appeals to you. I'm going to switch over to this smaller brush and uh, try to get these smaller little metallic details here. such a long time since I've painted like this. And it's coming back to me. And I know that in the end be pretty pleased with the outcome. You know, it'd be worth it. Oh, it looks like it's in the middle right there. This little guy had a pretty uh, eventful game last weekend. toe-to-toe -to -toe with a half-orc with a battle axe. He almost didn't come out of that one. But thanks to a, a helpful team, he was able to make it out. That's all of the metal pieces that I need to get, so now I'll move on to the skin. So I'm going to start with this Cobra leather. Might be an odd choice for some, but I want it to be kind of a yellowy bronze color. So. We're going to start out with this color. You need to add a little water to it to thin it out. This helps the paint go on a little smoother. Now, this is the tricky part because you want to put this base color on here but not cover up. the shadows that you created with your wash. And uh, figure this side, that could be a little bit tricky. We'll do the best we can here. I have to switch over to this other brush again. Of course, 
how they pick the hardest, <laughs> the hardest details first. small and difficult character and figure to paint. some videos in the past that can be uh, probably taken as ASMR, but uh, she goes by a uh, girl painting. She's from uh, Germany. familiar with her and want to see some nice paintings, some nice miniature paintings I should say, I'll put a link up. In fact, I may not have done a lot of painting in the last several years, but just watching her videos has kind of kept me in the know. Not bad. Like I said, I'm rusty. I'm a little rusty. This probably won't be my best work ever, but. color. So now we'll start to build up the highlights here. So there's that sunny skin tone, which is kind of a yellowish Unfortunately, is no longer around. Yeah, that should be enough. And you can see how little you use of this stuff, which is why I still have so much of it. Okay, so for my first highlight, I'm going to take a small amount of that sunny skin tone and add it into a brown that I've been using. Just a small amount, just to lighten it up a little. And when you do this, you want to leave not only the shadows that your wash created, but you want to leave some of Painted 
shiny as well. It's a subtle difference, but once it dries, you'll see it. used to have some um, retarder, you know, that you had derogatorily. It's a additive you can add to your paint to keep it from drying out too fast, but uh, I couldn't find that in my box of paints, so I'm not sure. Water helps a little bit. and do this kind of late at night when everyone else goes to bed and I was just thinking that I have to be up in just a few hours and take my son to the babysitter but it'll be at the babysitter so I can kind of come back and sleep in a little bit alright so that's our first highlight done for our next highlight we're just going to add a little bit more of that lighter color the color we've already been using, make it a little bit lighter. And then again, I want to make sure we can still see a little bit of those first three colors that we've already used. It's like riding a bicycle. Never forget where you're going. It's like a never stopped doing this. And hey. It's because it's so small. I will say that my eyes have gotten older <laughs> since the last time I did this. My eyes are really working overtime here. third highlight. So for my final highlight, I'm just going to use a little bit of this straight. Yeah, I need a little water in there. 
think after I finish this skin, that'll be a good stopping point for this video. And come back, do all the, the wood and the leather. Not bad for my first paint job, and golly, I don't remember how many years. I keep saying that, but it's true. So, there is the skin done, and I think that is pretty good for now. I think this will be a good spot to end this video. Thank you guys for watching.